Hello everyone, so today I'm playing with the Halloween theme cake. I had some vanilla sponge which I mashed with my hand and then I added some buttercream to it. I don't have exact proportions for it but it's just to make it a dough. I have this 2 inch width bowl which I lined with the cling film and then I pressed my dough into it. And then I have this tool which is basically a potato mash maker which helped me to press it all together. Then I added some buttercream on top of it and this is going to be the bottom of my cake and then I crumb coated the rest of the cake and I placed my cake in the fridge to chill for around 20-30 minutes. Once my cake is nice and chill I'm going to roll out some fondant and I'm going to cover both sides of my cake, the bottom and the top. I used a little bit of water to attach one fondant piece to another. Using my cake tools I'm gonna make some lines on my fondant, I'm gonna make them quite deep and I'm gonna sort of spread them apart to make them look like a wound. And here you see me doing another wound. Halloween cake like these are really fun to make because most of the time they are free handed and the worse it looks the better. Using my small balling tool I made some marks where the stitches used to be and then I realized that the previous tool was much better for that. Using my balling tool I made round shaped wounds as well. Using bigger balling tool I just indented the surface of my cake. And then I added more stitch marks at the base of my cake. Here I'm using peach and pink dust that I dusted all my cake with. I will go darker with red, brown and black where I need, especially in the crevices and those stitching mark areas. I'm using edible dust and tints. Here I started adding darker tints. I always start working from the lightest color. And here I have a little bit of jam which color I deepen with red food color and I'm just placing it in those crevices I made before. As well using thin paintbrush and some food color diluted in dipping solution I enhanced the color on the stitching marks. And here how the cake looks like when it's all done. Would you eat it? Comment below!